Hi, welcome to this video. If you like me, you'd like to uh, send a lot of photographs to your family, friends, through email, MSN, uh, things like that. You know, maybe you do a lot of web page design and you want to put them up on web galleries and stuff like that. And some of the file types nowadays have grown in size because digital technology has moved on quite a lot over the years and the file quality is such, so much greater than what it used to be that the file size has now grown. And as you can see, this is a typical photograph really. It's only two megabytes or just over two megabytes. But obviously some of the files can grow up to five megabytes or even higher. So it just depends on the uh, digital camera that you've got. So this could be quite a problem if you want to send these through email. And if you've got 10 or 20 of them, obviously that's going to be a considerable size. Or maybe you want to, you know, upload them somewhere and you want to reduce the size of them. So there is an answer to your problem there, and that is called Shrink Pick. You can actually get it from www.onthegosoft.com forward slash shrink underscore pick dot htm. It's a freeware program, which is always good. And as you can see, it's a very small file inside to download, 1.23. It works with a few uh, platforms here, as you can see, web browsers, Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Opera email clients, pretty much all of them really, uh, Windows Vista or Vista Mail I should say, Outlook, Outlook Express, Thunderbird and so on. And you've also got uh, Instant Messaging, Skype and MSN Messenger which are pretty much the ones that people use anyway. So let's have a little look at the application itself. So what I need to do is click on this shrink pick. It's then running in the background. So here we have our photograph. If I drop that in there, it will actually open up the picture of a dog. Okay, I can save this file. Call it test. I can shut that off. And see how quick it's reduced that file. It's gone from 2.11 megabytes down to 123 KB. Now that would have took you quite a considerable amount of time to do that in Photoshop or whatever it may be, you know, whatever other methods you use. But that's done really quickly. And uh, as I said, the quality, let's have a look at the quality. That's the original. And that's the reduced size. I don't think that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Now, as you can see, we've got the compression levels here to change the sizes. So you can actually adapt this to yourself. That's set by default to medium compression. So you can have it on high and have it compressed even more or slightly better quality as you can see there, low compression. And then you've got your custom settings as well. Whatever you want to do yourself, I've left it as default. And you've got the photo types which is JPEG, BMP, PNG, TIFF and GIF types. Okay. Now the bit that impressed me as well was email. So for argument's sake I opened up Outlook Express and this does work with all them other email types as I said. So you go to create mail and uh, say for instance I wanted to just attach that photograph and then once I go into that desktop and find me photograph straight away as you can see it's reduced it automatically for me and you can look down at the bottom here it's reduced it down to 166 KB so I haven't had to do anything, all I've had to do is just drop the file in there really and that's it, I'm good to go. So as I said, it's a really useful piece of kit, it runs in the background, very small download, freeware, what's there not to like, I think it's a real great uh, tool to add to your collection, as I said. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Also, uh, if you've got any questions there, leave a comment or shoot over to my forum, register over there and put your questions in there, which is probably the best thing to do. And I'll have uh, a better chance of answering your questions there. So anyway, thanks a lot for your support, guys. Keep your questions coming and keep your requests coming. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.